Hi, this is a process update and today I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to knit and talk. Let's see if it works. <laughs> so I want to share a realization and I'm quite adaptive being. Um, I will explore at that point how this, um, what does it mean in my life. Uh, I became aware of this point actually being on the farm um, for the first time after a week or so. Bernard asked me if I could live like that, like the people living on the farm. And I said, yes. And then he said that I am quite quickly adapting. And I was not so much aware of this. And now some time passed, so it was like two years ago. And I was exploring that point, me adapting quickly. So before I started process, I was, for example, very often judging me of not having my own style. How do I mean it? I was observing people doing things specific way um, and they would they would it would be their way so they had a way in my eyes of doing things and I was kind of missing it like why do I not have my own way you know I was doing things like I did not know what is my way this question always remained within me I was also like not knowing what to do with my life I was um, jealous of people who know what their purpose in life is. I was like having no purpose also. Like and so when I within my process started to discover this adaption process, like the skill of me adapting um I realized that it is quite a cool skill and that I can use it practically um, for example when I'm when I'm visiting someone I am kind of merging with the environment I'm adapting to the wa to the way life goes on within this specific environment within the house and what I saw is that I am quite enjoying it doing so so for me it's um, a process of I could say copying, but it's not uh, just copying when you define copying as seeing something and doing exactly the same thing, like a copy, exact copy. I am more merging with it, becoming it, like getting to know it into uh, within the details. but because it's a part of me kind of doing so and I'm doing it 
not all the time, but I'm doing it, I'm also taking the good parts of it, keeping the good, yeah, and letting go of what I see um, that it does not work as as effective. And so I'm, for example, now taking this part of that being of that of that situation, or taking part of that being, and then I'm merging it into something that is, in my eyes, more effective. And as I said, I'm enjoying doing so. I like um, exploring new things. So I'm very easy to embrace new things, to um, get to know it uh, in a way where I, for a moment, become it kind of completely. I merged with it. And the realization that I wanted to talk about is actually how I realized that this skill I have used and abused within an S the mind consciousness system. So, for example, how I am expressing myself. I am um, I fear conflicts. So you see that um, this skill of adapting quickly I've uh, developed to such a degree within an SMI mind consciousness system that I was really automatically adapting um, to such a point that it was not beneficial anymore I was very much compromising myself. I actually had the moment within my process where I discovered a self. I was um, writing a blog about it and the title was the, the discovery of self. So I was in, in this pre-programmed and automated way automatically adapting and I was so to speak existing almost completely within this externalized projection of myself so that I forgot that there is a self a original self that is accepting and allowing to do so And that was quite cool for me to like discover myself. <laughs> and let's see. And so this skill, as I've abused it, um, became fear of conflict. So I am a very, one can say, low conflict being, like I move into situations and I am a bit like hiding and observing uh, and I avoid situations that could be in any way or become conflictual. So this caused also massive consequence in my life. You know, you can't go through life uh, avoiding any conflict. Um, as 
Yeah, I will give you a, maybe a specific uh, example. Like you are within a relationship and avoiding conflict does not mean that there are no conflicts. It's, it is pure suppression. So it's on the outside, this low conflictual being like doing what I was thinking would be fitting into the situation but within me I was um, I was having emotional turmoils it was not I was not one and equal with that what I was living outside mm. and just recently I've also realized how um, I've channeled this skill into reactions. For example, when I perceive someone to react on me in a harmful way, when I feel threatened or harmed, I am also reacting within it in a way of copying that being, like thinking you react to me or on me, I can do that as well and I can do it better. And I was then really nasty because I was abusing my skill to really merge with someone or the situation so I knew the being quite well like you are in a relationship and then I was automatically knowing what to say what will harm the other being the most effective way and my reaction when you give it a name for what it is is kind of I can define it as revenge it's like paying back what is done to me the same way as the being is hurting me how I perceive the being to hurt hurt me so there I've also abused the skill within and as the mind but what's cool within it is that you know it's a part of my expression how I enjoy to express myself and so within it it's quite supportive because I know I now know who I am and when um, there is a situation of conflict I can breathe and knowing myself knowing who I am gives me a quite clear platform a baseline and when someone is reacting in front of me and kind of inviting me to play with. I have this baseline as support, support, self-support and say um, I'm not going to channel myself into this system. I'm not going to play with you. But their self-honesty is required because I can't go into the polarity of then feeling better because I'm not playing with so that would be self-deception you know someone is reacting and I'm saying I'm not reacting but that would be itself a reaction already so there's um, a lot of self-honesty required for me to genuinely stay here as myself as who I am 
and not allow myself to go into and to channel myself into and as the mind consciousness system. So this was quite a cool realization because um, um, you, when you listen to Iqaf interviews or I think it was Anu saying that uh, the question of who is the mind, the mind is you actually, parts of us were channeled into the system and so we have so easily accepted the system as ourselves and this was a realization where I saw how it really me the parts of me parts of my beingness how I channel this actually really uh, you know as a real practical example uh, how I channel myself into the system and so abuse myself as the system and so now I'm exploring how to use the skill to you know to perfect myself to grow and to expand support myself and support others and enjoy myself and walk my process of stopping the mind so thank you very much bye